hello welcome to Maddie makes a craft channel that is based on the acquisition and creating of yarn today we are going to talk about alpaca and how to use these beautiful three pitch combs um, these are ultra fine combs from wooden clocks and things on Etsy and I'm going to show you how to use the combs properly and how to clean the fleece so it is prepared for spinning. I have two combs and a hackle, all are three pitch, which means there are three rows of teeth. The teeth are stainless steel. The body is um, Tennessee cedar and maple, and they are very beautifully constructed. Like I said, wooden clocks and things on Etsy. All right, let's start with covering our lap up because this is going to get a little messy. So if you have an apron, put it on. I have my bag of fiber next to me. Um, like I said, this fiber is three years grown out, which isn't normally what should happen or what does happen, but pandemic issues, right? So I'm just pulling out, I'm not sure exactly what you can see down here, but one tough. And ideally when you're combing the tips out and the shorn end in the combs. And there's a couple different ways to lash on. I like doing it one lock at a time. And like I said, these are, this is one lock. It's hugely long. Um, measure it. Okay, it's, it's almost 10 inches. Just trying to get an edge piece here. So I'm trying to open them up a little bit. So you just want to pull with your fingers and open them up if it is a fleece that is locking together. If you notice some second cuts, just pull them out. And this was shorn by amateurs, so there is second cuts. I'm gonna show you how just to hold them in your arms and free throw it. You might wanna lotion your hands before you begin. It helps the fiber from sticking to your hands. And I have a sheet below me, so if you see me throwing things, I'm not throwing them on the ground, throwing my sheet. Oops, cut in. When you load up your combs, you don't want to overpack them. So you want to pull from the back and open things up and you never want to go over half. So I can put a little bit more on this one. And just for showing sake, I don't want to overload them either because that would be a lot more passes. And what I really want to do right now, so there's that. Just arranging them, plucking them all up from the back. So they're all laying out here in front. This is just an extremely long fleece, full of all sorts of wetness, and it turns out super clean when we're done. So I'll do a close up of this in a bit so you can actually see what it looks like. But we're gonna start at one of the longest pieces here. Always hold your comb, the one you're working off of generally straight up. The one you're working and combing with goes away from your body. These tines are pretty sharp. You do not want to point them at yourself for safety's sake. Um, always point them away. You also, if you have animals or children in the house, um, small children, make sure they're a safe distance away. You don't want to accidentally do this and have a child running up to you. Uh, would not work well. So. You can be in a room with a shut door. The kid has to knock. 
if that helps. But anyway, make sure everything's safely stowed away before we begin using these, my husband calls them weapons. So start at the fibers sticking out at the end and we will work our way to the shorter ones. So just gently and you can see the stuff falling from it. You want to make sure you can get a big enough arc away. So if I'm out of frame, I'm sorry. I'm just totally just arcing my arm out of the way. So you get that full 10 inches or so. And after you've figured it out a little bit, you can get faster and faster, but start slow. It is not a race to get fiber processed. It's normally just a labor of love. And you see a huge piece going there. And you'll be working this through a few times. So if big chunks go like that one, don't worry too much about it. This is only the first pass. Only thing we're trying not to do right now is looping the fiber around. So I make sure it's hanging down really nice. And if you notice it flipping back, you can always just run your hand through it and pull it back the way it should be. And if it's fluffing up, have a little water bottle. I have a water bottle with a couple drops of like argon oil in it. And just a little spray will do you. Just keeps the fluff down. Doesn't hurt your combing at all. Now this is the natural color of the fiber. So it is this beautiful, almost copper tone. And your first pass is always the most difficult. It should pull away easily, but the condition of this one, I'm, I'm using a little bit of muscle. Let's see if my watch rates this as an exercise or not. And just keep working yourself a little bit at a time. I'm just bouncing a little bit so the fiber goes down. Like I said, it's always away from yourself. So a little arc or away from yourself and up. all the garbage is either falling to the floor and I'll show you the sheet when we're done kind of amazing the collection here so it was flipping back up on stuff so I flipped it back down so the garbage in the fleece you know all the hay and other matter is falling to the floor or getting caught in the back of the comb nice smooth and you don't want to pull too hard because we don't want to break the fibers but in some cases they will like if you have tips that are fried by the sun they will just pull off and sometimes it's a good thing if it is I would call it a bad fleece but where the sheep or animal got sick in the midst of growing out the fleece and there is a thin point, um, a break point, sometimes your four inch fiber will snap in half and it becomes harder to use. You have less usability out of something like that. Okay, so 
I'm going through and I'm trying to twist it down to lock that fiber in and it's just not doing it. So I'm going to set this one on the side. I'm going to pull this piece of fiber out. I'm just going to tug it free of its stuff that's there because I want this long piece. There's just so much stuff behind it that it just was not coming free. So I'm just going to here and then put that back on the cone. And this other bit, it's pretty much garbage. We're getting rid of that. So clean out the other comb or broken comb. So you just put your hands forward and back and pull straight out. And this time I just dust it off a little bit because you can see the stuff built up in it. But normally just a tap and a swipe and it's all good and ready to go again. Um, I didn't say before, the tines are stainless steel. So they clean up pretty easy. You shouldn't have to worry about rust or anything like that. And we're already starting to fluff up. Now for pass number two. Now switch your hands with your combs. And you can see it's all fluffed out again. We do want to start at the end again. And pull. And more stuff's falling free. End and pull. End and pull. More stuff's falling free and it's really fluffing up again. Sorry for all the hand switching. I'm right handed. Missed it again. Missed that again. Come through it. Being such a long fleece. have to use long you're really stretching out your arms with a long fleece just pull apart gently 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 shaking the stuff free now if you see big things in them you can stop and pull them out with your hands if you want to especially if you see something like a sticker something with a little bit of teeth in it and doesn't want to fall free then go back to combing Turn at the ends, and as it gets combed out, you want to work your way up into the comb more, up into the fiber more, I should say, closer to the comb. Always pointing the teeth away from yourself. And it's already cleaned up a lot compared to where it was. These combs are doing a great job. This fleece is just problematic. I would always suggest to anyone with alpacas to share them annually, or if they're an older animal, maybe every other year. There you go. Alright. Keep on combing. And you can twist away. Didn't mean to twist that towards myself. This way and down. That'll come out. Alrighty. And down. And down. Out and down. And I fluffed it back up on itself again. Such beautiful combs. There's other ways to do alpaca as well, but I'm really concentrating on combing this one because with its length, combing's about the only way you can prep it. And I'm gonna fluff up the fibers a little bit. They're getting pent up here. So you just wanna just 
Use your finger, side of your finger, fluff them up, get these ones off. Now combing is something you, the more you practice, the better you get. But when you're first learning, do you take it slow and easy? Because they are sharp. So right now I'm just running the teeth next to each other. Pull off those last few hairs. Come on, fibers. All right. Now I can't get any more off of this. So you just want to get the back, pull them off. always pull up and away. Tap out the comb, get the sediment out of it, and I just wipe the handle part clean. And that part does have some good fibers in it, but lots of garbage. And oh my goodness, my lap. Okay, and that was pass number two. Come again. You see it's all packed in on the back. So you want to loosen that up and just get your fingers in there and just pull it up. If there's anything big back there, you can pull that free. That way it's all open and loose. Ready to go again. And there's still a lot of veggie matter caught in this place, so let's see if we can get it free. Start at the ends. Oh, that looks pretty. And it again. alpaca is one of those fibers that does not have any lanolin or fats in it so it does need a little squirt from now and then just keep the fluff down now alpaca do sweat you know like we do so I always wash my alpaca I don't try to prep it or spin it in the dust so this fiber even though it is still caked with matter, um, was washed. And I have videos on that on my channel. I will try to link them in the description below. And you can see how to wash alpaca. Just pretty easy process. But for the love of fiber, it does take a while to process it to usability. And this, like I said, is a natural color too. It's so pretty. Off of this one. Some people mark on their combs, uh, right and left, or um, L for loading comb. It's the comb you always load onto. Now, alpaca is supposed to be a hyperallergenic fiber, but that's not saying anything that's in it. Because <laughs> if, if you're allergic to hay and there's hay in it, you're going to have issues. Okay. Alright, out and twist. Changing my hand a little bit so I can get a different angle. And twist. stuff and then open it up from the back you see the repetition that goes on always open it from the back give it a little spray 
Don't try to catch a comb if it's falling. Just let it go. They're really durable. It's gonna hurt whatever it hits. Probably won't hurt itself. Okay, anyway, get a good handhold on it. All fluffed up, ready to go. Start at the end again. Pull it clean. Oh, that looks good. Might be the last time you go through this. If they're sticking at this point, sometimes they're just have little catchies and grippies in them. All right. Save that to go through it again. Let's see what we got. Pretty darn clean. There's a few little bitsy bits left in it. From this point, though, I'd go on to the hackle. And that way, however you want to diz it off or whatever else, you can go again, but this is how you use ultrafine combs to clean fiber. And if you want to do another pass on this, if you don't have a hackle, another pass. There's no rule that says you have to pass it through X number of times. You do it as long as you want to do it, wherever how dirty or clean the fiber is. Um, go check out my videos listed in the description below on how to wash alpaca and the other videos in my channel. Well, thank you all for joining me. Happy crocheting, happy knitting, and most of all, happy making. <laughs>